Hi, welcome to CSCN. In this video, we are going to learn the testing and types of the testings. As you know, right, when a software team develops a software product or a software system, then it must be passes through the different kind of the design and the analysis phases, and they must need a different kinds of tools. And the testing is one of them. I start with the testing introductions, principles, and the types of the testings. Introduction to testing or software testing. The software testing is the process of the checking or evaluating a software product that is it meet the requirement or not. Or we say that it is the process of evaluating a software item to be detect the differences between the given input and the expected output. We provide some input to the software system and it produces some kind of output. Then we need to check on what the input it produces, what kind of output, then desired output is same or not. So we say that the software system is basically a checking of software that is the meet the requirement or not. In other words, we can say that the testing is a process of verification and validation. We know that the verification is a manual process that done by the software experts and the teams and the val validation is the process that is done by the computer systems to validate the requirements of the user by the system. And the software testing is done during the development process and testing is performed on the every phases of the development from a starting to the end of the product. The principle of software testing. Every software testing must have some principle that need to be followed when we develop any kind of software system. The first principle of the software testing is that all the tests should be meet the customer customer requirement. All the tests should be meet the customer requirement. Means the test it we perform on the systems it not be different from the requirement of the customers. And the software testing should be performed by the third body. Here we see that the, he, these persons are the development team who develop the software. Suppose this come, this is the A company who develop a software product. And when we test this product, then this testing must be performed by the different party. That is the third party here is the company B. So we say that the product developed by the company A or the developers, it must be tested by the different third party that is the tester or the testing. The team who test the product, developed product is called the testing. Here is the third body. And the third most important testing principle is that all tests must be pre-planned before implementing. All the tests must be plan before we are going to implement this test onto the software system or the product and the testing start with the small parts and then we need to extend it to large okay the types of software testing and the types of testing there are the different kind of the testings are found on the different phases of the development first testing is the unit test Unit testing is the testing about all the individual's unit or a group of related testings by one by one. We test the different modules individually. We test the different modules individually in this testing, unit testing. And the second one is the integration test. Integration testing sometimes called the group testing because it integrate all the elements that could that could be any module or the individual unit and it is the testing in which group of components are combined to produce the output suppose in this system so we have the different kind of mod modules and the every modules perform different operations then after the unit testing integration integration testing is performed as we know that the in unit testing individual elements are tested but in the integration testing all these indiv individual elements are the grouped together 
and testing is performed <coughs> then third one is the functional test functional testing is the testing about the functionality functionality of the systems that what kind of functions it uh, performs and is the is these functions are well or not and the system testing system testing is the basically the testing of a software system on different kind of environment on a dif different in environment like uh, different operating systems like windows linux unix or mac so system testing is the so whole system whole software system testing that performed on the different environment and the different platforms and the performance testing performance performance testing is the testing to access the speed and effectiveness of the system and make sure it generates the correct result we, or we say that the performance testing is the testing of the performance of the software product or the software system and the stress testing stress testing it is clear by its name that uh, the software system is tested that uh, how much it how how amount of the stress it can handle so we say that the, it is the testing to ev evaluate how system behaves under unfavorable conditions that are the totally different from the systems that we developed to work on that in environment and another one is the usability test usability testing is the testing about the usability of the systems that how these systems behave on or it provides the environment to the user like the graphical user environment and the what kind of input it accepts and how 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 the system produces the output so we say that the usability testing is the totally on the use usability about the system and the acceptance test acceptance testing is the last phase of the testing that is the done by the customer to ensure the deliver product meet the requirement or not it is performed by the user or the party that need the software product acceptance testing categorized into two category that are alpha testing and the beta testing alpha testing are the done alpha testing is performed by the development team and the beta testing is performed by the customers and these custom these customers provides the feedback about the software product to the development team on the basis of the feedback the development team make some changes and improvements on the systems regression testing regression testing is the testing that is the perform when any modifications are performed on the systems like any updations or the uh, updations on the component or the module or the any related unit and all these testings can be grouped into three categories first one is the black box test black box testing is the testing in which the tester doesn't have any information about the internal working of the software systems and the black box testing is the high level of testing that only focus on to the behavior of the systems that uh, how it behave on the different kind of uh, operations performed on the systems and it has the following testing techniques that are the functional testing usability testing system testing acceptance acceptance testing stress testing regression testing and the performance testing and the second one is the white box testing white box testing testing is the testing in which the tester has all the knowledge about the internal functionality of the systems it is based on the coverage of the code statement branches paths and all the conditions that are used into the software systems and white box testing is considered as the low level testing is and it also called the glass box testing and when and when black box testing and the white box testing combined together and perform any kind of testing then it would be the integration testing 
or you say that the integration testings the tester have uh, all the informations about the systems like the internal or the behavior internal or the external behavior of the software code so in this video we we have learned the different kind of software testing types and the principle of the testing and what is the testings that are performed during the development of the stlc failures so please subscribe the ccma thanks for watching